Hi, welcome back to Nelda with Elegance. I thank you for stopping by. And today we're going to do a tutorial on a French tip pedicure. You know, sometimes you get pretty frustrated when you work it and your manicure doesn't last like it ought to. And you may not have all the jealous products at home. You may need to go out to get a jealous polish manicure in a salon. Or maybe you're just starting your own collection at home. expensive you can get and make it last two months and really you can use everything you've already got at home you can use a top coat that's regular right out of Dollar General and it should last you about a month and if you want it to last two months put a jellish polish top coat over your regular polish and it'll last that long at least mine do I'm going to include some pictures uh, to show my pedicure before I took it off and redid it today and it was two months old and the only reason I redid it is because my nails were getting a little bit grown out and the polish was still perfectly intact two months later so I hope you enjoy it and maybe I can save you some money and get you stoked for spring and pretty sandals thanks hi hey welcome back to nailed it with elegance today we're going to do a pedicure video and we're going to show how to do an at-home pedicure uh, French tip and how you can do it very inexpensively with standard polish and it should last about a month for you if you do your prep work right and your filing right uh, and possibly two months most of mine last about two months I'm going to attach some photographs of the pedicure I had before I took it off and prepped my nails to do this French tip manicure. It had lasted two months and still hadn't chipped or anything. I was just getting sick of the polish and it actually had grown out quite a bit. So it was time to refresh it and do a pretty pedicure and I like French tip because it pretty much goes with just about everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what we're going to work on today. Now I've done my other foot and I've done two nails out of five on my toes here but um, I didn't want the video to take too long so I thought I would just leave three and that way it would be quicker so what you're doing first is you're gonna go ahead and do what you normally do get you off your old polish and you're gonna file them and shape them however you want uh, one of the things that a lot of us use is a little buffer board just to smooth the surface of the nail and it also makes it nice and fresh and clean but not everybody has those so let's say you have a file and one side is sort of smooth and the other side's more coarse and textured and this is an older file of mine I don't use it with anything other than uh, my pedicures because it's an older one I just kind of use it uh, for my pedicures and it's getting a little worn so well, I'll probably chuck it pretty soon but it's still okay for just you know myself so what I do is I will use the more coarse side for my basic filing and then I'll use this fi fine side sometimes to buff the surface of the nail and most files have a coarse side and a finer side with basically 100 grit on one side or 180 grit on the other you can pick different textures but I would take and just use a file if I didn't have a buff block a buffer block and I'd use the soft side for my buffing and then the coarse side for my filing now one of the things you can do to make your your toenails look more like almost like fake nails is rather than just you know shortening them and rounding them I think sometimes when you square them off a little bit it makes them look more uh, almost fake because they have a more perfect shape it's just a recommendation but I think a square uh, toenail will look nice and while we think about uh, filing the surface and filing the free edge you can even square it off some by filing the edges 
each side and squaring it a little bit that way. Depending on how thick your toenails are, they can, they can take a little bit more thinning down. So I will shape them along the medial and distal sides from, uh, uh, from the edge to edge borders and not just not just on the free edge and then I'll make it square that way and I'll narrow it down a little bit so that I'm controlling the shape and square them off real nice and then I'll go and cut everything back as best I can and make sure all my cuticles are clean and when I got a nice fresh surface I'm ready to go now you can see here where I want a little ham hog on it because I tend to really cut things back very good because I know it's going to be two months before I go and do another pedicure. I just try to make them last as long as I can. With standard polish, you should get at least a month. Now, the way that you can get a two-month pedicure out of it is to make sure that your free edge, your nails are trimmed back as short as possible. A lot of people don't realize this, but your polish is chipping because it's hitting the ends of your shoes and rubbing on that, and it's getting that polish worn and chipping it off. Uh, if you want your toenails a little longer for a more a feminine look, that's fine, but then you're going to lose some of the life extension on that pedicure. M the more friction and contact your nails have with the end of your shoes and socks even, the more it's going to wear that polish off. So I used to cut my polish way back, so my toenails way back, so that I didn't have any contact with the ends of my toes and the polish on my toenails to the shoe or the socks, and that would get more life out of my pedicure as well, at least 30 days. Now, the way I'm getting two months out of it is I'm taking a gel top coat, and you can sandwich standard polish under one layer of gel top coat. It'll be just enough sturdiness to get a lot more life out of your pedicure and help that polish last longer, but yet only using the top coat won't make it too hard to get the polish off. So here's what we are going to do. Well, I'm going to show you how to do your French tip manicure at home. We've got some OPI white polish. We have, we're going to make it last even longer by putting a clear coat of gel polish over the top. You could use a regular top coat if you want it. You don't have to use, and you'll still get a month out of your pedicure. You can just have your OPI base coat, your OPI top coat, and if you do a good job and you don't leave your nails too long and they're not hitting your shoe, hitting your shoe, hitting your socks, if you cut them back short enough and file them, you should get a good month out of your pedicure. If you're going to a salon and they're giving you a pedicure and it isn't lasting a month, they're thinning their polishes down. They're thinning them down and your polish isn't going to last as long and they're not trimming your nails far enough back. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. When I used to pay to get my pedicures, I used to get irritated because I'm a good tipper. I appreciate pretty nails and my feet hurt, so I appreciate nice foot care and massages. But uh, when that polish is chipping in two weeks, I'm irritated because, heck, I can do it myself at home and it lasts anywhere from a month to two months. And then I figured they were chipping because the toenails weren't being trimmed short enough and they were just hitting these shoes and the socks and wearing the polish off and they were thinning the polish down. So they should be lasting a month. If you do it yourself, you watch and you do a good job, it'll last you a good month. So I'm going to show you some ways to do a French tip manicure, get back on topic, and save you some money. What we've got is Q-tips right here, okay? We're going to use some Q-tips. I'm going to put them off camera, and we'll bring them into play here in a minute. In here, I have acetone, 100% acetone polish remover. Here it is, DG, Dollar General, Nail polish remover, spill proof, 100% acetone. Okay, now, a lot of times when you go to a salon, they'll use a brush and they'll dip it in the acetone. And they will wipe a nice straight line after they've painted one on. And yes, you can do that, but not everybody has those implements at home. So what I'm going to show you is just go down to Dollar General, buy that acetone polish remover, get you a Q-tip. And you're going to dip that in that acetone polish remover and you're going to make sure you have a perfect white line on the cheap. There you go. 
So let's get our OPI polish or your Dollar General or your Walmart or your drugstore polish out. And after we've shook it up, we're going to make sure it's not too thick. Nope, it's not too thick. Something about white polish, I'll tell you, it does tend to thicken up quicker. I like to shake it up really good. Okay, now I've already got a base coat on these. I've already trimmed them, cleaned them, took care of my cuticles, buffed them nice and purty. So we're going to do the artwork now. But first, we're going to do a toe separator on the cheap. So we're going to take a paper towel. We're going to fold a paper towel. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it and slide it in between the toe, slide it between the other toe, slide it between the third. And now we have our toe separator, but look at that. Isn't that goofy? That's in the way. So even though I've already done the pinkies, I want to put it down, get it out of the way. There it is. You're all crooked there, little buddy. I just about butchered you. So we've got these three. We're going to paint them. Just like they would in the salon, same principle, but we're going to get it done at home. And if you do it right, it's going to last a long time. Now, when you're done lotioning your feet and trimming, trimming your cuticles and filing and buffing, remember, you don't need a buffer board. If you want, you can use a simple nail file. Just use the side of the file that's not as coarse, a 100-180 grit nail file. So you're going to paint on the edge of the nail. You're not going to worry a whole lot. If you get it on the skin, you're not going to worry about that. One thing you're going to do after you've lotioned and groomed your feet, as I was starting to say earlier, is you're going to take that acetone polish remover and you're going to wipe your toenails off so that they're clean and etched so that the nail polish will adhere. And then there won't be any lotion from you lotioning your feet to keep it from sticking for you. So you don't have to be especially talented. You can get it all over the place. Doesn't matter. You're going to wipe it right back off. So there it is. And look, I got some on the skin. I got some uh, way too thick. I mean, holy cow, is that thick? That's kind of thin. Line's crooked. This is going to, oh, bloody heck. It's everywhere. I mean, oh, it's on the skin. Woo! Ooh, look at that what a sloppy hot mess that is so you're at home and you don't have the uh, nice little fine detail brushes like what I have I can get in there and really get every little speck off and leave it so perfect you don't so we're gonna help you out we're going to show you how to do it yourself at home. Most people have a Q-tip. And I'll tell you what, if you don't have a Q-tip, I'll do you one better. Take an old makeup brush, wash it out. Use an old makeup brush or an old eyeshadow brush. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to be careful because we don't want to take the polish off that we're not interested in removing. And we're going to start to wipe off where we don't want it, back and forth. Little windshield wiper. And I do this every now and then to make sure I got that, that Q-tip contained and not too furry. Now, I'm not worried if the edge isn't perfect because I can hit that with my nail file and it'll clean it right up. I'm just getting the end of the end of the toe. I'm going to control that Q-tip. It gets a little furry. All right. I don't want too much, so I wipe it off a little bit in my hand. And then we go where windshield wipe, bring it off. Windshield wipe, bring it off. Back and forth. Back and forth. You know, I ordered some of the most breathtaking, gorgeous foot jewelry that I just got 
delivered and I just can't wait to do share some pretty photographs I know it's not summertime appropriate to be wearing that kind of stuff around in the winter but I can sure do some really pretty photographs and just show how how they've really come a long way with some of the jewelry that you can get online anymore and I like pretty attractive sandals in the summer I like to have my nails pretty I started doing my own pedicures uh, when I before I discovered gelish polish because I got sick and tired of every time I'd go to all this work to do my fingernails and I'd have the polish chipped in a day this is before gelish polish came out that's so nice and tough and long lasting anyways um, I started uh, doing my own pedicures because I, I liked to have them pretty and beautiful and I wanted them to last. And when I would do my pedicure, for some reason, it would just last a good month. Easy. And I thought, well, it's worth taking the time to do my toenails pretty. They're going to last a good month. It's going to be perfect. And if I can't keep my fingernails gorgeous because I'm always chipping the polish, like I said, this was before... They had gelish polish that lasted forever. So I'd do all the hard work, and then it'd be chipped in a day. That's kind of depressing, because I wasn't just going to sit around and look cute. I had work to do. So when I did my nails, I wanted them to last. So well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file the edge just a little bit, which will sharpen up any little bits and take away anything. It sounds silly, but it will almost take away anything that I might have gotten on the skin too. All right. So there they are with a Q-tip and 100% acetone polish remover. We now have the perfect line. Now, I'm going to cheat. I could put on a top coat. I have OPI and you don't even need a name brand. I used to just use whatever I could get on sale. But I happened to find this on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed a name brand. Now, let's say you're just now starting your Gelish Polish collection, and all you have is one base coat, a top coat, in one or two colors you got at Sally's. Because you're just starting your collection, that's all you had. Just enough money for something simple. Well, you can reach over and grab your top coat, and now you can use it to sandwich your regular polishes in too. You can use all of that regular polish you've collected over the years and just put a layer of top coat over it and it'll extend the life of your regular polish. So this is a gel polish top coat and it is going over the top of regular over-the-counter standard fingernail polish. that most people have in their cupboards at home or bathroom cabinet or whatever. And it's right there on the nails over the top of that polish. We're going to put it in a curing light and let it cure. Whoops, sorry. So basically, um, what I was saying is uh, I, I ordered some beautiful... Uh, Jewelry, bracelets, toenail, uh, toe rings, and beautiful jewelry, rhinestones, pearls, everything. Gorgeous. So at the end of the video, for fun, maybe get you hyped up for summertime and doing your toenails pretty and that sort of thing. At the end of the video, what I'll do is um, I'll try and share some pictures of that jewelry. And maybe that'll help get people excited for summer and say, hey, I'm going to get my pedicure dolled up. And if anything, I'll, I'll, re I'll wear some flip-flops around the house. <laughs> ah, my hubby can say, oh, your toenails look pretty. Aren't your toes cold? And you can say, nope, let's turn the heater up. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people I can run around the house barefoot. And even though my feet might get a little chilly, it's more comfortable to me than anything else. So I, I like to have my toenails done because I would much rather run around barefoot in the house than in socks and shoes.
That way I know if I need to clean the floors or not. And most of the time they're clean, so it's just more comfortable. You're at home when you kick your shoes off, but you're really at home when you don't even have to wear your socks. You can just run around with your with those bare tootsies. Sorry for the time it's taken to get those cured. Okay, so anyways, they've been in the curing light. They look really nice. They're really pretty. What we're going to do is I used uh, a gel polish top coat. So now I'm going to take isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to wipe it. Because this is not a non-wipe gel top coat. And see, this is another thing. When you put over the top of your regular polish, when you put over the top of that regular polish, that uh, gel polish top coat. Now it's dry and you don't have to fart with it. <laughs> Isn't that great? You don't have to fuss with it. It's all dry and it's all nice. Oh, by the way, these little toenail rings, these little, excuse me, I keep saying toenail, these little toe rings are part of that jewelry collection that I ordered and they're just so beautiful and beachy. I love them. I love them. What I like is I took all of this time to do this wonderful, wonderful pedicure. And now I get to enjoy it for two months. And you'll see pictures of the pedicure that I had before I did this. Beauty mark. Too funny, too funny. Hey, if you, if you think, if you think, um, a French tip pedicure is the prettiest. You would be surprised how many people would agree with you. Solid color is nice, but I think the French tip manicure is the prettiest by far. And you know, they will charge you the most for a French tip pedicure. So if I taught you anything on how you could maybe get a more perfected line and do it for yourself and save you some money, I'm sure happy about that. Now remember, a standard top coat if your nails aren't too long, uh, should last you about a month. If they're not hitting the end of your shoes or coming in contact with anything, and it'll still look long because you've painted a white edge. It's kind of an optical illusion. Um, it'll look, look much longer, but I could have taken this toenail much, much shorter and done that. The reason I left it as long as I, as I did is I know the durability of that gel polish top coat is going to give me a long time on this pedicure even if the toenail is a little bit longer and kind of rubs on a sock or maybe hits the end of my shoe ever so often that gel polish is tough stuff and you can overlap it or sandwich standard polish underneath it just like I did I hope that saves you some money I hope you end up with a beautiful French tip manicure and you've got a couple of q-tips and pick up some cheap white polish and 100% acetone polish remover at your local dollar store or dollar general and then go around with gorgeous little tootsies around your house so they can say geez those are pretty did you go get a pedicure and you can be like well yeah i did it myself thanks a lot guys bye bye